Welcome to The Scott Townsend Show, brought to you by Dietzo Man Productions. Scott, starting over again for you, if you were starting over beginning your career for the first time, what are some of the things you would tell yourself? Go for the uh, job that I want. Well, I'll, I did that, actually, with uh, Disney when I was at the OSU. And the recruiter came. I ultimately got hired as an in, for, uh, for an internship. And then after that, I went back after I graduated and got into Epcot's guest relations program, which wasn't the easiest thing to get into. So I was on that roll. So, hey, this is Scott Townsend. Thanks for joining the Scott Townsend Show. And today, once again, I have with me Mark McKinnon. Mark, how's it going? Awesome. And, uh, you know, we've been doing this uh, series, 57 Pieces of Advice, that I would give my younger self. And uh, we've done four, five, six episodes. Well, probably more than that now. But uh, it's all predicated on on going back and talking to my younger self and what I would tell my what advice would I give myself but what would happen if you know if I was able to go back in a time machine and start all over again so would you like to go in a time machine and and, uh, be able to start all over again you've always heard people say this if I knew then what I know now, wow, would I be successful? Or wow, would I do different things with my money? Or wow, would I be, be, be have a better marriage? Which is really what we've been talking about in your in your thing, is, is giving people advice for those who are starting first time. Right, first right? time. First time, or restarting. So if we were starting again, man, it would be so awesome to go mm-hmm. back to that first job interview, uh, that first choice, would I still uh, take that job? Would I decide not to take that job? Or go for a different job? Right. Would I decide that it wasn't worth my time? Uh, have my Here's a good question. Have my values on what's important changed uh, in, 50, in 35 years? Oh, yeah, they sure have. So I value things so much differently than I did before. So starting over again. Hey, Scott, starting over again for you. If you were starting over beginning your career for the first time, what are some of the things you would tell yourself there, then and there? What have you learned now that would help you then? <clears throat> that uh, it took me a long time to think that I was worthy of having a corporate job. And I would, if I were to start over, I would shoot higher and believe in myself more and uh, go for go for the big time faster than thinking I'm gonna. You know, you got to pay your dues and you got to start at the bottom. But I mean, <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I. I I, sh- yeah, I would be more persistent and and shoot for the shoot for the stars. Go for the go for the uh, job that I want. I'll, I'll, so yeah, I did that actually with uh, Disney when I was at the OSU, and the recruiter came. I ultimately got hired as an in, for, uh, for an internship, and then after that, I went back after I graduated and got into Epcot's guest relations program, which wasn't the easiest thing to get into. So I was on that roll, and I just let some things get in the way that. Uh, so some things stopped that. Some things stopped that. Stopped that. Your dream basically stopped your dream. Shut it down. Shut it down. I'm the one thing I think that that. I've learned that I wouldn't make the same mistake again. Are um, I remember hearing someone say this, and it was really profound. We give people in our life influence because of their position, and so so many times in my life, I've allowed someone else's supposed insight or 
wisdom uh, to derail me from my dream, keep me uh, in a on a road or inside the guardrails because mm -hmm. my thinking or my thought process didn't align with what they thought was right. But I but I gave them that place without. I just gave it to him without even thinking because well this guy's there so absolutely he knows more than I know. Right. And there's some truth to that, <clears throat> but that's not true about everything. Right. And you have to walk your own path, you know. And that's not his path. They're not. It's not their path. Now that, that doesn't mean that they ha don't have wisdom and or, or that they don't have good advice, or that you've sought out their advice. But um, at some point, you have to make it your own and take what they say, apply it to yourself and not let them talk you off your path. Here's number one, it's, it's not too late ever to get back on the right path. I don't care if you're 56, I don't, I don't care how old you are, you can get on the right path. Uh, yeah. I was 40, 43 when I started on the path of the donut business and I'm like you Scott the only thing that kept me from the donut business from the business world was I thought it was too difficult I thought that I could not possibly do what I thought others do and hold it all together and hold together and I didn't but I didn't realize that I was equipped with what I needed to succeed and even then when I got into business I did it with somebody else which was not a bad thing it was a good thing but I was equipped to be a sole proprietor of a business. Made that way, when I think about it now, God created me and gave me giftings and skills that, that just fit into what I'm doing as far as business goes. But I, but I shied away from it because first I was afraid. And second, people talked me out of it. I talked to other people. The Bible says this, it's kind of a crazy thing. It says, don't cast your pearls before swine. It basically, basically means don't cast, cast, your, cast your God ideas before people who don't really care about your God ideas because <laughs> I mean, they're, they're going to just derail you. Um, and so only talk to people who are going to encourage you mm -hmm. and strengthen you. And so I, I think one of the things I would do as a young man is I would find somebody who would do that for me. Mm -hmm. Someone who would not only listen to what I, what's in my heart, They'd encourage me to follow after it. How about you? Yeah. Well, I think, uh, you know, there is no such thing as a time machine. So we can't go back. No. So <clears throat> the best time to have done, to have started was then. Sure. But the second best time to start is now. Hey, this is the Scott Townsend Show. Thanks for joining us. And we'll be back right after this. Pops Daylight Donuts, man, they've got the best tasting donuts, sausage wraps, pastries in Northeast Oklahoma. And also, if you'll tell the staff there, hey, Scott Townsend said to give me a large spicy pig, they'll give you a free large spicy sausage wrap. But you have to tell them Scott Ta Townsend sent you. So tell them, hey, Scott Townsend told me to tell you to give me a large spicy pig. So there's the offer. There's the, there's the call to action. So go to Pops Daylight Donuts. Say hi to Mark for me. And uh, yeah, go to Pops Daylight Donuts and get you some. The other sponsor is Castafly Outdoor Adventures. Adventure, that's where it begins. We look to create and document our moments in time while embracing the majestic wonder and beauty of the great outdoors. Our quest is to explore the back roads of the Ozarks, camping, fishing, and just getting lost. Refresh your spirit and join us on our next adventure. Okay, so at 20, I wish I would have started it this way, but I can't go back there and change that. Right. But I can do that now. Sure. Which 
and so can everybody else. You know, so you think about this. I just think about this. We're talking openly here today. At the age you're at now, you can, you can start again because of the way your you know your children are grown. It's just you and Celeste. Um, because when you start something out new, when you take a road, new road, or you don't have to do a road that's going to, you know, there's challenges, financial challenges, there's all kinds of challenges, but you're able to do it when it's just two of you. It's easier, right. Easier, easier. That's, that's, good. that's really that's true. Easier to do it when it's just the two of you. You don't have to think about the two kids you get at home or whatever right. it is. So really, you're in a place that, right now where, uh, and you're, and I see you doing it, you're, you're attempting to make uh, a change and do what you know to do. And so, man, kudos to you, I mean, uh, for, for doing that. And if you're listening to us today and, and you're that person, you know, that's, hey, maybe you're 40, maybe you're 45, maybe you're 50, and you're thinking, what am I going to do? Well, you can start again. Yeah. You can start again and, and learn from what you did between 20 and 45, or whatever age it is, and uh, make the adjustments you need to make so that you can you can finish strong. I, I, God wants us to finish strong. You know, I remember someone said this, and I thought it's a bunch of air when they said it. You know, you know, do the most important Balloon thing in life. Juice. Yeah, yeah. Do what makes you happy, and the, you'll never feel like you worked a day in your life. You know what? That's the, there's a lot of truth in that because it's not that you're not working, it's but you're but you're doing something that you care about doing, and so you don't and so you don't mind the time, you don't mind any of that stuff because it's something you you like. So I think I would tell my younger self, find something you like, not someone else, not something that someone else likes. Right. Not something that someone else tells you that you're gifted to do. How many times did I hear, you should do that? Right. Um, and and they meant well. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it or, wasn't. And, it, and quit trying to do it like like somebody else. Yeah, like someone. Oh my goodness. Be be <clears throat> not. You know, I've, I've said this before, and I got it from Kevin Kelly, founder of Wired Magazine. He said, don't, and we mentioned it, don't worry about being the best, be the only. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. Mm-hmm. And I, I think that we both could say this. I mean, one of the greatest challenges is not trying to duplicate somebody else. It's, oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's a challenge to not want to be like someone else who's already succeeded. That doesn't mean you don't, you don't learn from them and draw right. wisdom from them. But, but there's only, we're individual. You know, God There's fearfully, only one, only you one me, only one you. Thank goodness sometimes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, to wrap this up, it's never too late for anybody. Nope. I mean, you can buy into the lie that it is. You can always think, no matter what stage in life you're at, you're probably going to think it's too late. Um, my kids are too little. My kids are too old. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm too old. Mm-hmm. It's, but... It's that's the challenge. Sure is, is. Is today you can start new, you can start over right now, mm-hmm. and it's all it's a, it's a mind thing, right? Isn't it? Just one thing before we go. I just think about this. It's so sometimes it's so hard for you to see that truth about yourself, and someone else can see it from the outside. Mm-hmm. Do you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Oh, they can yeah. so spot it. So my wife is my wife's a tr- tremendously gifted writer. And she and she been writing now for ten years, uh, an article and an article. I've told her a number of times, just go ahead and write a book. Just just go ahead and take all these short stories and make a book. But I know in her mind she thinks, would anybody really buy it? Well, well who cares if they buy it? Uh, just write the book. Just write the book. That's well, the first. No one's going to buy it. Right, if you don't write, right. it, uh, write, write it. Right. Write the book. And if something happens that it, you end up writing another one, well, awesome. Because I think sometimes it's just. You never wrote the book, so you never started. You yeah. never started, so you get to the end of your life and you go, "Well, I wish I, I really didn't do anything I wanted to do." I, I don't, I don't want to be that guy. Do you? No, no, I don't want to be that guy that sits down at seventy-five or eighty and goes, "Well, I wish I would have done this. I wish I." No, I'm just, I got tired of wishing at about forty. I said, "I'm going to start doing some things." Yeah. So here's our encouragement today: do something. Do something about what it is that's in your heart. I really believe this, that, that your heart, God's planted something in each individual that's going to bring great happiness and, and joy to them. 
And so just be, I challenge you today, take a step toward whatever that is in your life. Well said. Well, that's it for today. Uh, for Mark McKinnon, this is Scott Townsend. Thanks for joining the Scott Townsend Show. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you later. The Scott Townsend Show is a Dietz Man production. For more episodes, visit the Scott Townsend Show YouTube channel, listen on Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to your favorite shows. The Scott Townsend Show.